Ready to rock and roll, and off we go. Dino's attacking right to left. Cascades attacking left to right. Dinos have the all-time record of nine wins, five losses, and two draws against the Cascades in the all-time history between the two clubs. They have won three meetings in a row between the two teams. As I said, both teams coming off losses. Both teams in opposite divisions fighting for their lives in the playoffs. Yes, we're not even halfway through the season, but in any other sport, when you have less than 10 games to go, you pay definite extra attention to all the standings and all the results of all the other teams. Dinos one, two, and two. Open with two draws and a loss on the road, then defeated Saskatchewan 3-2, then lost to Lethbridge 2-1, two to as we mentioned. So they'd like to even their record at 2-2-2 two, two, two this afternoon before their UBC matchup. And quickly, it is a corner kick for UFC, tapping it up. Fraser Valley was the first team to get possession get a clearance that was Carson Mooder number four in green 6-1 defender makes sense he would be the one to touch it first Dinos make a few changes from the starting 11 from last Sunday most significantly Emmanuel Petros draws into the lineup he was the one that kicked the corner and he kicked that ball too headed away William Oberanye thought a defender may have gotten the last piece of his header, but referee disagreed. Dinos tried to open the scoring just here in the second minute. Omarenye's header just a little bit off target. Jackson Cowix. I asked him how to pronounce his name, so I didn't make a mistake, and he told me exactly what it was. Fake to go deep, but they're going to send it the other way from Sidhu. He was looking on the wing for Man Manella. No luck quite yet. Anyway, Cowix, third-year art student from Surrey. He has played every minute of the Cascades action this year. They are 1-3-0 this year. Trying to get back on the winning track. 1.50 GAA, crossing through and another header just a little bit late. That coming from Derek Brust. 684 save percentage. Again, let's go side to side. That one does not stay in bounds. Meanwhile, Ruskowski on the opposite side of the field, 1.6 GAA. He has played once again every minute for the Dinos this year. 714 GAA. In hockey, you want about 900. In soccer, you want about 750, 800. So both of these competitors want to make sure that they make saves and that zero balls go past them into the net. Dino's currently fourth in the fourth in the six-team Prairie Division. Top four qualify. Crossing! That was offside. The flag was up. Mikhail Manella. But a nice header attempt with, nonetheless. Top four in each division qualify for the crossover quarterfinals. Dinos in fourth. They have five points. Saskatchewan has four points. Lethbridge has three points. The team above them, you have a Golden Bears. They have ten points. Another cross through, Sunyun Kim. He'll find his teammate. That was Ponyevic. A few significant changes for both the Dinos women's and men's team. Sort of that COVID hangover where players did a full year of schooling. Crossing through, cleared away. Handball, referee says no. And that's a whistle the other direction. You'll hear through our ambient microphone all afternoon long. This is the internet, but you just never know what you might hear. The coaches shouting to the refs, to the players, and perhaps to each other. A 
free kick for the UFC in the white jerseys going right to left. Fraser Valley, they have played four games this year. The Dinos have played five. Up and up, across, bar and in. William Omarienye in the sixth minute. Bar down, as they like to say. As well executed of a free kick as you can get. Cowick six foot even, but placed it where no goalie could get it. And perfectly off the bar, Dinos have the opening goal. And for the first time at home this year, do not surrender the opening goal of the matchup. Dino's goal scored by number five, William Omarienye. That goal on a free kick in the sixth minute. That is his second goal of the season. Dino's have eight on the year now. Petros with two, Zewa with two, Omarienye with two. Rust with one and Plenzik with one. Cascades have scored three times this season. As we said, one win, three losses. They have three points. UBCO, one point below them. UNBC, seven points above them. And Victoria, seven points above them as well. So Fraser Valley needs to get some points in this, let's say, middle third of the season to have a shot to leapfrog a couple of teams and perhaps get that third or fourth playoff spot for our crossover quarterfinals. Those will take place on October 29th. The final four will be hosted by the best remaining Pacific Division team, November 4th and 6th. And then we're on the road to the Nationals, November 10th to 13th in Kamloops at Thompson Rivers University, the U Sports National Championships over Remembrance Day long weekend out in Kamloops. Luke, our fourth official. They have a communication system so the four officials can chat with each other. He's getting time to half because he needs to, he has to listen to me talk for 90 minutes. They were looking far side with the Dinos. Trying to feed Zewa. How about this chance? A slow roller, Cowix up to the task uh, against Brust. But as I said, a lot of changes, Canada West men's and women's, just because, as, as I was saying, a lot of players uh, did a full year of academics online during the 2020-2021 academic slash athletic season, where of course there were no athletics, and they did have an extra year of eligibility, but got their degree and and moved on. And unfortunately, the 2020 soccer season was just yet another victim of, of the pandemic. But we know those players are watching and gonna still be big fans of both of these teams, Fraser Valley and Calgary, both men's and women's, all four of those clubs. And a lot of missing high profile names from all 13 men's teams and 16 women's teams. Since the end of the 2021 soccer season and 2022 graduations. That one will roll to Petros and roll a little past him and a yellow card has been issued. We'll find out who got the yellow card. Fifteen green. No, one six, one six. Sixteen. Sixteen green. Dollywall, 16 green. Yellow card to number 16, Fraser Valley, Jivan Dollywall. So keep that in mind, 16 green. Just about at the 10 minute mark, Dinos already have one goal looking for a second. 
on a windy, blustery day. Temperature at the airport is 16 degrees. We're nowhere near the airport, but uh, I can't imagine it's any different than that. On the south end of the University of Calgary campus, in the shadow of the Olympic Oval, home of the 1988 Winter Olympic speed skating competition and speed skating competitions just this morning as well. And they've been speed skating for over a month. Another crossover that does not stay in bounds. Dinos Field Hockey just to the just behind Cowix's net hosted a game this morning. There's a rugby club team playing right behind the left back corner. And then right behind us, there's uh, an ultimate frisbee match going on. <laughs> so what more could you ask for? Speed skating, soccer, rugby, field hockey. Ultimate Frisbee, like, unbelievable. Enjoying a sunny Sunday, Saturday afternoon before there aren't too many more of those in the next few months. We go indoors for basketball, volleyball, and hockey, which will be starting in a couple of weeks. Make sure to check those out on Canada West TV. You can get the all dino package. You can get the all cascade package. Of course, you can get the all soccer package. First of sort of a Calgary doubleheader today. UBC will be playing at Mount Royal. UBC 3 and 1, Mount Royal 4 0 oh, and 1. That should be a great second half of a doubleheader here. On Canada West TV and of course the Thunderbirds will play here tomorrow afternoon at 2:15. What's going on, Max? A throw in, almost to the parallel of, of the post. Not a lot of players can do that. Dino defense trying to get the inside track. Ponyevic took down Manella. I think Manella was out of bounds. Not that that matters. Zanetta wearing the armband as the captain of the Fa Fraser Valley Cascades. Coaching staff and players already frustrated with the coaching staff or with the referees. They said that there was a yellow card against the Dinos just nanoseconds before the free kick was awarded that Omarinye converted. Dinos lead 1 nothing. Very rarely have they had the lead. They've been playing from behind most of the season. Kopsa. Kopsa in. Kopsa offside. Between the legs of Cowex, but he was ahead of the second last defender. And that means offside, the flag was up. Just a single today. We had the double last Sunday with ladies at noon, gents at 2.15. The ladies are in Edmonton today to play the Alberta Pandas, and then they'll play the GMAC Griffins tomorrow. So Dino fans, make sure to check out those road games for the women's team. They are currently 4-0 despite all the changes I was talking about earlier. And we'll see them at home for a double Friday night and Sunday afternoon. Dino men will travel to BC for weekend action on the road next weekend after this double header today against Fraser Valley and tomorrow at 2.15 Mountain Time, 1.15 BC Time, Pacific Time against the Thunderbirds. Coming over, coming over, Bugs. That one off the chest of Copsa, or excuse me, Brust. Derek, a fourth year engineering student from Calgary. Vancouver Whitecaps, Alberta South Academy. Cascades get the call. He might be one of those four-year eligible but graduating students. I'll have to wait and see. 
A few fours and fives on the Cascades roster. We'll tell you about those later on. Just 15 minutes into the contest, but a lot of activity has occurred. Rolling in, headed by the defender. Suyun Kim, Duyun Kim, excuse me, almost put it in his own net. I think the Dinos did that last year, if I'm not mistaken. But it rolled to the left, and Jake Ruskowski handled it. Yeah, Dinos outshot Lethbridge 9-1 in the second half last week, but couldn't find the tying goal. Ruskowski out for the chase. Whistle goes. Good crowd here for a Saturday afternoon. We had some excellent crowds the last couple of weeks during our four game season or home opener, home stand Friday, one on Friday, one on Saturday and two on Sunday. Big one will be October 1st, hosting Mount Royal, 6 p.m. It's anything like it was last year. It should be an absolutely fantastic game in front of almost an capacity crowd. Another free kick for the Dinos. This time it's Emmanuel Petros, the rookie sensation. First year art students from the New Frontiers Soccer Club. Little chip ahead, looking for the, uh, again, the header. William Omarenye, he's got a goal in this matchup, but uh, his headers have been a little bit unlucky and a little bit off target. Tom Lound is the eighth year head coach of the Cascades. Brendan O'Connell, the eighth year head coach of the Dinos. Body check along the side. Again, Fra Fraser Valley frustrated. Refs in light blue, Dinos in white. Cascades in green. Co coach saying, ref referee's not going to change. You can't just get frustrated and blame the score on, on the referee. They have to adapt for 70 minutes and try to tie this score. Nice little back heel tap to get that out of the, out of the way for Fraser Valley, but Calgary take advantage. There's Kopsa looking for Plenzik. Kopsa has been a strong player in that middle center midfield position for the last couple of seasons. And he does get a yellow card, six white and 16 green. Yellow card to Calgary's number six, Eric Kopsa. Third year kinesiology student from North Vancouver is Kopsa. He managed to play in Poland during the pandemic when their National League system was active before the Canadian system was. Players talking directly to the referee, Charon Deep Ranji, not very happy. Free kick to the near side. Sidhu. Coach Lound is saying that he felt and that they felt that Kopsa led with both feet for that tackle. Referee disagreed. A couple of years ago, the Dinos did take a straight red about this time of that matchup, leading 1-0, held on 
No, actually, they were it, they were scoreless. And uh, they held on, a man down for 75 minutes and escaped with a 0-0 tie. Again, this is Petros leading with his leg, but did not make contact and just cleared the ball out of bounds to the far touch line, which allows Ranji to bring it back in. Again, down a fence. We'll see you here at 2.15 tomorrow afternoon for more soccer action. Inside, the tallest man got the touch. Big block, Copes <laughs> blocked it as he was falling, so he didn't even know it was coming. Cascades, most action on the offensive half of the field, probably in the matchup so far. Maynella, he gets brought down. Again, they complain, again, nothing happens. Maynella with a bo straight body check. And the captain gets a yellow. Shoulder check for Zanetta. Yellow card to Fraser Valley's number six, Trevor Zanetta. Three yellows in 21 minutes. Our main man Lance running the game sheet. Again, quick succession of, of moments. Fraser Valley felt they needed, they had a call coming that did not arrive. And then moments later, committed a foul that was called. Teams are allowed six substitutions throughout the 90 minutes that that does not include halftime. You can do as many things as you want at halftime, but six substitutions during the matchup, during the 90 minutes, during gameplay, and players can go out and come back in again. We've seen that a lot on the women's side. A lot of whistles, but the clock continues to run. TV and their presentation of U Sports Soccer here on a Saturday afternoon. Sidhu. They're sending everybody. Looking to make some hay while the sun shines to try to tie this game over everyone's head. Fraser Valley holds it at the line. Trying to cross it through. Dinos. Went off the chest of Guti. And a corner. Yepis. Looking far post. Again, Omarenye, a couple of touches. And I, if I got it right, Fraser Valley had a handball in the box. So that's an automatic whistle. And Ruskowski decides to go short, giving his teammates a chance to move ahead, thanks to Sam Gagne. Couple of bad giveaways for the Dinos. Out of bounds. Ponyevic making, making an effort, but grabbing the jersey, and that was whistled down. Not too many yellow leaves on the trees. A few more than there were last week, but uh, none of the leaves have fallen yet. They're expecting 20 degree temperatures next week, which may set some records here in the city of Calgary for the second half of September. Trying to go far side for the indirect. Again, Dinos get the first touch. Looked like Ponyevic got a piece of it. Sends it out of bounds, but gives the defenders a chance to reset. Again, the best pressure Fraser Valley's had. Dinos haven't had a sniff of Cowix in five minutes. Near post this time. Dinos got in front. Gagne will clear the 
the half. And Ziwa loves to attack from that right wing. He's got two this year. Fraser Valley goals have come from men Paul Brar, 19. Trevor Zanetta, number six. And Mikhail Manela, 21. 19, six, and 21, all three on the field at the moment. But their team trails after 25 minutes. And a clever catch with Petros watching very carefully. Omrenye in the fifth minutes on a free kick. Open the scoring for UFC. They've led ever since. As I said, that's been the, the exception, not the rule. Trying to feed Omrenye, but that was smartly taken away. Mooters had a couple of nice takeaways. Dino's physical, taking the ball away. We had 29 here last week. I don't think we're going to see that again until probably June. But yeah, it made for a great afternoon of soccer action. Unfortunately, the uh, smoke was still an issue. That seems to have been cleared up, fortunately, for everyone involved. And the Cascades ladies game against Lethbridge was postponed. It may not be made up if either team doesn't need it for playoff positioning. So we know all the people in Fraser Valley have had it 10 times worse than we have, and we're, we're, we're glad you're, you're safe and that the fire's been contained. And we thank you for watching. It's loose for Brust. Off the hands. He was onside. A great effort and a great stop. Jackson Cowicks. Copesa wanted the ball. Everyone in the building knew it. And Stewart made contact. Cutter to the right, just inbounds. Nice little work from Petros. Excuse me, Ziwa. Couldn't keep it all the way, but Dino's throw in on the far side. Very fast 28 minutes have gone by. Both teams want to break a break through and not uh, continue their losing streaks or add to them. But one team or neither will walk out of here with three points. Somebody will get at least one. Fraser Valley opened the season with a one nothing loss to Thompson Rivers at home on September 2nd, then a 2 nil win over UBC Okanagan on September the 4th. UBCO still looking for their first win, 0-3-1 right now in the Pacific Division. As we said, seven in the Pacific, six in the Prairie, top four play crossover quarterfinals. Over the top, Omarenye can't quite get to it because Muter again well done in his center back position. Trying to kick it through was Plenzik. Found the angle, kept it in bounds. And it's a dino throw in. Still Dino possession. I'm not. I'm not. No, keep going. Keep going. Sounds good. Okay, so 26 in. Who's coming out? 21. 21 out. Eight. And you? Uh, 
Another whistle and another conversation. Copes, uh, certainly famous for talking to the referees on behalf of the Dinos, but he has kept his mouth shut so far past the half hour. Mateo Brazina will sub out Mikhail Manella. And eight will sub out for 18. Taylor Richardson in for Ivan Yepes. We'll announce them right after this free kick for Emmanuel Petros. Declan Mammy. Whoa, that one punched away. Rebound is loose, and it'll roll to the far side. Normally a starter starting forward is not in the starting 11 so far. Two changes for Fraser Valley into the game. Number 26, Matteo Brezina. He subs out 21, Mikhail Maniela. Into the game, number 8, Taylor Richardson. Out, number 18, Ivan Yepes. Near post. Couldn't reach all the players running around before the point of contact. Another little chip ahead, looking for an onside play. It's there, a couple of deflections loose, and the ball is collected from Cowex. Great chance for Gianmarco Plenzik. Again, those little chippers give the time to the forwards to be able to get in onside. And for the defenders to have a difficulty reacting because the offensive team knows what the play call is. How about a left footer? Rebound off the crossbar. Crossbar work for the Dinos, not quite for the Cascades. Just by the luck of physics and gravity. But their best chance of the day. It's just seconds after the Dinos almost made it 2 nothing. This is a shorter than normal field, so it doesn't take the ball long to travel from one net to the other. William Stewart, number 14, is from Calgary. No players from the Fraser Valley on the Dino roster. So I'm sure we got some William Stewart fans in the stands. Look at the tap. Great race that the Dinos win Zanata. Just a, a stride behind, but a perfect feed. 33 down, 12 to go in the first half. We'll let you know about the number of extra minutes added to the end of the first half when the referees tell us. I think that's all four corners now for corner kicks. Far post, it's there! And deflected away, a double slant as we like to call it. Up and down. Again, Fraser Valley, except for that one chance the Dinos had a few seconds ago, have, have dominated. A slight contact brings Mooter down, excuse me, Bur Burrett down to the far side. Now to the near side. Ziwa, nice little feed. The left wing has been Omarene's, but the flag is up. It's been an issue for the Dinos here at home for the last couple of seasons. Just that little bit over anxious. I'll still have some videos for you to watch during our halftime show. But yeah, Omarinye, that left half of the, of the field has been all his. Push from behind. Referee says play on. Cowick's got all he wanted on that. Oh, man. It just amazes me that they can take a ball 
falling that fast off their head and be fine. Quick movement on the free kick. Zanata's got to be very careful. He's got a yellow on his sheet. Crossing through. Not enough white shirts, too many green shirts. And the far side pitch does not stay in bounds. The spin for Kim. Doesn't stay on his boot. Cascades sprinting left to right. Again, the inside track gets Ponyevic the, the defensive advantage. Dinos clear the halfway line. Sam Gagne, he hasn't had a lot of starts this year. Three game road trip, four game homestand for the UFC. But the Dinos passed it by as well. Bad luck for Plenzik. Once again, click on that live game stats link. The information updates automatically. So as we like to say, no refresh is needed. No F5s. The numbers automatically update. And you'll see them as soon as we do. But we'll break it down in more detail at the half. There's some footwork. Well done for Brar. He's got a goal this year. Omarenye and Plenzik are our goal scorers today. Both competitors getting their second goals of the season. Teams have switched ends. And the Dinos will attack left to right in front of some of their Dino athletic teammates. Might be basketball or volleyball uh, team hanging out this afternoon. <laughs> Trying to feed another goal. He's already done that once today. Cut off was Omarenye. Again, Kopsa. Center midfield, he's got to be able to do everything. And so far, Mr. Kobza has done exactly that. Dewey and Kim getting pressured. They'll let it go back to Ruskowski. Well, let's get you, let's get you those halftime stats, I promised. Once again, click on the game stats, live stats link. And follow along in real time. Crossing through and up and over. Do, do, do live stats. There we go. Shots at the goal. Dinos eight. Oh, no. UVF. UFV, excuse me, five. Shots on the goal. Dinos five. UFV1. So Mr. Cowix is three for five in his net. Mr. Ruskowski is one for one in his net. Corners were 3 1 Fraser Valley. Most of those coming in the last 15 minutes. Fouls 13 4 Fraser Valley. Most of those in the first 15 minutes. Crossing through. It's there. And just a little late. Petros, you could see him tap the, the grass. He was frustrated with that. Offsides 3-1 Dinos. Fouls 13-4 Cascades. Yeah, we talked about those three offsides. And 2-1 yellow cards for the Cascades. 
Again, Kopsa, Zanetta, and Dollywall. Again, the chatter seems to have calmed down since about the halfway mark of the first half. So Dinos converted two of their five shots in the first half. Razor Valley 0 for 1. So Ruskowski's save percentage goes up a little bit. But I think his winning percentage is a lot more important to him. The Dinos want to go to 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. Fraser Valley would not like to drop to 1-4. and four And have dug themselves a hole right at the beginning of the season in a very tough Pacific division. Back it up. Basically the BC division because it it's all seven teams in BC. And the 16 Prairie Division is four from, five from Alberta and one from Saskatchewan. Mount Royal and Calgary from Calgary, McEwen and Alberta from Edmonton and the U University of Lethbridge Pronghorns. So yes, the, uh, the Huskies from Saskatoon never have a short road trip. I think Edmonton, four hours to Edmonton is the shortest one. Regina, Winnipeg, and Manitoba all have women's teams, but they do not have men's teams. Kim on the right back position. A little too much for Ziwa. Again, Kim. I'd have a headache for a week if I did that. For him, it's just another play. Trying to go diagonally, nice little pass. A little back and forth, perhaps. Isn't gonna quite work for Brar and Berzina. They maintain possession, however. This is Yepes. He was out, he's back in again. Well, that. Wide Mohawk. Oh, the rugby match and the uh, ultimate Frisbee games are already over. Very busy place. South of, south of campus, south of the Residences. Look at the run. It's loose and just over. Taylor Richardson, but Brazina, what a run. 26 green. Probably went about 20 yards. Richardson had a great chance. Jake, get him out. Get him out. Right into the speakers. Dollywall and Brar. Straight ahead, Plensick knew where it was going and sends it about 50 yards the other way. Dino's putting pressure on, trying to get that takeaway. Nice header from Kim. Omarenye's surrounded by Green, so he'll send it out wide. A little out and in. And Cowix had to be ready. <laughs> Most everything here to the near side. 
So now we're getting our money's worth. About eight minutes into the second half. Dinos two, Cascades no score. Dinos is trying to extend their current winning streak against this team to four. Offside. Offside, the flag was up. Dino men have three more, excuse me, four more home games. September 18th against UBC at 2.15. That October 1st matchup against Mount Royal, the Crow Child Classic. I want revenge for that 2-1 loss at Mount Royal back in August. October 22nd, hosting Grant McEwen, and October 23rd, hosting Alberta. Last two games of the season will be home games against two teams higher than, than them currently in the standings, so those could be critical matchups to either acquire or maintain a playoff position. A little ping pong over the center line. Another big run. This is Yepes. Out to Richardson. Cutting the, sh the slants and creating a corner kick. Cascades bench players trying to encourage their teammates. Dinos plugging up the middle, allowing nothing to be executed. Nice feed up. Zewa knew where Brust was going to be. That one's going to roll. And a whistle. Omrenye about a, a stride too late. Ranji, quickly up and over. Rosina, a little bit too much mustard on that one. A lot of times, all four of these flags in the corners will be blustering. Hardly any movement from the flags at all for most of this matchup. Sometimes all four flags will go in four different directions. And in a month from now, I expect that McEwen Alberta series that we're going to have exactly that. Off the upper arm. Copes assists, thank you very much. <laughs> and runs a long way from the referee. Yep, is fourth year art student from Surrey. Up and in. And Braskowski cut that one off very well. Nice little chip ahead, trying to steal a dino idea are these Cascades. Crossing through. Braskowski cut it off before Richardson could get to it. Pretty good strategy. Passes and shots don't have to be full blast as long as they get where you want them to go. Here's some open space. That's been an issue for the Dinos this year. As Brzezina has come closer than anybody here in this second half. Raskowski having to fade from one post to the other to make the save. Sometimes he hasn't able to make those saves, though. That was the big reason why they gave up two last Sunday against Lethbridge. 
Rosina's had himself a heck of a half, just hasn't put one in the net yet. Look at the rotation. Omarenye and Ziwa. Switch it up, and nicely cut off. Brar knew where that was going. And again, these teams wasting no time. This is not as long of a field left to right as, as others are, but the speed of these players allows them to take advantage of that narrower field. We go on. Everything's good? Cool. I heard a loud thud, and I'm like, what did I do now? What did I break now? Test, test, test. I think Double coverage to steal a phrase. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. The close in battles continue. Dino's content to just clear the zone of Marenier, looking for a second of the day. Gonna have to win a one on one battle, trying to go wide. Has some backup, but Cascades took it away. At the hour, Dinos 2, Fraser Valley no score. Great tackle, great takeaway. Again, it's Brezina. Dino's in a comfortable lead, but do give up goals unexpectedly. Almost made it three themselves. Klenzik found some open space, but bad luck for them. advantage. Brzezina not a fan. Dino's eight goals in five games. Five and a half. Fraser Valley only three goals in four and a half games so far. They'll drive all the way to Saskatoon for their next game tomorrow afternoon. That'll be right here on Canada West TV, our friends in Saskatoon will take care of you. Pet it away. That's what a center back does, like Sam Gagne gets in, gets in front of the defender, cuts off lanes, and clears the ball at the same time. To the far side, a couple of slants, and it's in! Matteo Brezina, a great slant where no one could get it. And again, these Dino opponents know to go from one post to the other. 
Mateo Brzezina in the 63rd. Cascades goal. Go tell him. Brzezina in the 63rd. Probably the MVP of the half. As the guests have their first goal, Brzezina has his first goal of the season. And the Cascades have their fourth of the year and are playing for more. Along the end line, crossing it through. Second best result, they'll get a corner kick on the far left side of your picture. Off to the side netting. Cascades with all the momentum right now. They converted just a minute ago and they're looking for more. It's all right. Dinos get the first touch again. Cascades ball. Offside? Offside? No, it's throw it. Cascades goal scored by number 26, Matteo Brezina, in the 63rd minute. Brezina's first of the year in the 63rd minute. What was the problem? That's what that down was. 64 down, 26 to go. Dino's lead has been cut in half. <laughs> UFV seem to have more gas in the tank right now. I think if a soccer coach could take a timeout, the Dinos would have. To the far side, Ziwa. Dinos have made no changes. Cascades have made four, including that one rolls through, including Yep is going out and then back in again. Alex and Ruskowski in the nets. Ruskowski again having to be careful. Gra this is the gra best the grass has ever been, but you never know about weird bounces. Loose ball. Both teams going for it. Ziwa rolled off his boot. Well, well. That was going to make their first change of the day. Into the game for the UFC, number 17, Nicholas Costu. Out of the game, number five, William Orenye. 17 for five, White. Nice little tap. Convert it? Not yet. The ball is loose, though. Did you see that side tap that, that uh, Brust put on for Ziwa? He almost got the goal. He almost reset that two-goal advantage. Dallas' first home win of the year. They were down 2 nothing at halftime. Found three goals, including basically a walk-off in extra time in the second half. The Saskatchewan Huskies were not happy. Kim. Nice little feed to the midfield. 
Nice little feed to the forward. Ziwa manages to find a second chance, crosses it through. Its ball is loose. Copes is there. How about Brust, maybe? Those two are almost twins. You can, hard to take them, hard to figure out which one's which sometimes from this distance. Richardson has had some moments since he came in. A little spin move. Again, an excellent day for Sam Gagne. Big block in front. Oh, look at that. How about that? <laughs> Very nicely done. No matter what team you cheer for. Kostu across against two. Almost found the hole. And the spot in the net. Like Brzezina did a few minutes ago. Placing it perfectly. Who's coming out? 16. Looks like Sidhu's going to come back in. Cascade substitution into the game, number 17, Bagvir Sidhu. Out of the game, number 16, Jivan Dollywall. 17 for 16, green. Dollywall, and most importantly, his yellow card, goes and sits down at the bench. Just approaching 70 minutes. Dinos lead by one goal. That one into the trees behind us. There was a ball about probably 20 feet in the air trapped in a, on a tree branch. I don't know who got it, but it had to be somebody very tall or who could shake a, a tree to get a ball down. Ziwa in front, Mammy almost, almost got right on the, on the field and converted within nanoseconds. Into the game for UFC number ten, Declan Mammy, subbing out. Let's go, Jacko, drive it, drive it, Lenny. Mammy into the game for UFC, their second change. Coast as they replenish the forward ranks, Coast and Mammy in. Omarenye out. All right, let's see what happens. Again, a little back tip. Nicely done by the defender. And they'll advance. Dinos trying to put the Cascades back on their heels, on the back foot, as they like to say, forcing them into a mistake. That hasn't been their play for the last 20 minutes or so. Perhaps they're trying to turn the momentum. Going into the last 20 minutes of this matchup. Over the top. And again, excellent job for Sam Gagne. Looks like Cascades are going to make a change. Manella will come back in. Third sub out, sub in of the matchup for that team. Yes, come on, get back. Yes. Yeah, get back, Nico. Come on, Nico. Get back. Yeah, get back and defend your goal. Into the game for the Cascades, number 21, Mikhail Maniela. Number 19 out. He subbed out 19, Manval Prar. And Prar almost watched his teammates tie the game. That didn't miss by much. <laughs> 70 down, 20 to go, give or take. Cascades perhaps starting to show a bit of wear and tear. Not as much get up and go as they had 15 minutes ago when they cut the score from 2 0 to 2 1. That ball almost knocked over Ben's coffee. That would have been World War III if that had happened. 
Well done by Guti. Big rush. The two number fours getting involved. Kopsa. Everywhere you want him to be, he has been today. That one off the collarbone of Manella. Trying to catch his breath. Maintain his position all at the same time. Well done. Cowix came about 20 yards past his, his end line and made a big play. Dinos were trying to feed Ziwa. So the Dinos have done well so far. These forwards are feeding each other as opposed to uh, waiting for the midfield to feed them. Readjusting their position on the pitch and making it better for their teammate. Another big chipper goes off a couple of noggins to the near side. 75 down, 15 to go. Dinos lead 2-1. They've had a couple of chances this half. But nothing spectacular that Cowix had to come up with. A rare whistle in the second half after, a, after a very, that sound being very common in the first quarter of the matchup. Dinos again wasting no time on the free kick. A little in and out, a little down and back. Crossing through, headed to the far side, but still in bounds on that little incline on the near right side of your picture. Or decline, as the case may be. Richardson. Nice little move. Calm down and relax, the players are saying to each other. No need to be at full throttle for 90 minutes. Tap off the volley. Tap off the half volley. Man, oh man, those guys, these headers are just incredible. Yes, 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 yes. Same with volleyball players. I don't know how they take bumps off their arms all night long and then aren't like covered in blister, arm soreness and blisters all night long. There's a right way and a wrong way to take a header on a soccer ball. Streaking through. That one off the head of a defender. Second chance and a big save. Rebound and it's loose. That time Cowix had to come up big. For the most part, he's had a very good matchup. Nothing anyone could have done with that bar down goal to open the match. Streaking through. Plenzig looking for his second of the day. He 
He thought he was interfered with. Referee said the opposite. Mammy, are you coming back to it? Some fancy footwork. Yes, Couldn't fool Muter. Approaching 80 minutes. Yes, you got involved. Yes. It's going to be indirect here. A yellow card, which is a second yellow, which is an automatic red for Trevor Zanetta. A second yellow card to Trevor Zanetta. Hit that rewind button. Hit that rewind button, folks. And check that out again. Michael, we got a sub ready for uh, for, for Green. Subbing in for the Fraser Valley Cascades, number seven, Parman Minhas. Subbing out, Mateo Brazina. Seven for 26 green. Brazina, a very nice goal, an incredible effort. And Minhas joins the matchup as his team is now playing with just 10 men. Two yellows for the captain. Maynella puts the armband on. And the Dinos have a big advantage. We've seen considerable pressure from the team down a man on this field before, both Dinos and their opponents. So there's no guarantee of anything at this point. UFC has to keep pushing the pace. The Fraser Valley is tired. They're going to be even more tired over the next seven to eight minutes trying to tie this matchup. Very interesting game today. Glad you're with us, both live and on demand. If there's a game that you can't be with us live, wait about two hours from the kickoff time. And then you can watch the Dinos get a goal and make it 3-1. Live or on demand here on Canada West TV in the 82nd minute. Big momentum builder for UBC, the, the T-Birds here tomorrow. So as I said, wait for about two hours after the kickoff time has been scheduled. Then at any time after that, click on the on demand of the game and you'll be able to see it without being spoiled. No spoiler archives on Canada West TV. So as I said, if you, if you miss a game, wait for it to finish, soccer or otherwise, give it two, two and a half hours then the on-demand will be available and you won't know anything about the matchup. No spoilers for that one. What was the breakdown on that one? 2017 at 82. Down a goal scored by number 20, Emmanuel Petros. A goal in the 82nd minutes. Petros is team-leading third goal of the season. 
And that was a clear advantage on that 11 v 10 scenario. Dinos three, Cascades one. Dinos will host UBC tomorrow. Cascades will drive six hours east to play the Has Saskatoon Huskies. Go ahead. Big. And they get back from Saskatoon to Abbotsford for school first thing Monday morning. Incredible effort these teams put into soccer and academics. Substitution for the Dinos into the game, number five, William Orenye. Out of the game, number four, Victor Guti. And a big catch as Cowix is feeling the pressure now. Big save. And then about a minute later, a big goal against him, and, and then that moment just now. Richardson. Gagne satisfied to just clear it for a team green throw in. There's a play down in the center circle. Is he coming out? Tate, what's his number? Tate, Mooter will be subbed out for Taylor Sayers. Tyler Sayers. Fraser Valley sub in. Taylor Sayers, 24, green. Subs out number four, Carson Mooter. 24 for four, green. Approaching 85 minutes, Dinos three, Cascades one. The score holds, Dinos will improve to two, two and two. Have a four point advantage for the last playoff spot. UFB would drop to one and four. and still trail their last playoff spot by four points. Kim to the far side. Omarenye, he's taking that left back spot. Petros, Brust, and Mommy in the middle of it all. There's Kopsa to take it away. And he'll push forward. Four against five. Coach says keep it at 86 minutes. The only place they don't want the ball is anywhere near Jake Roskowski. Mammy could not keep it in bounds on the far end line on the right end line Who are you taking uh, for 11 11 11 yeah that guy's coming out okay. Cohen Schaffner yeah. he has subbed in every home game so far second year engineering student he's going to sub out a very tired and Gianmarco Plenzik into the game for the Dinos, number 16, Cohen Schaffner. Out of the game, number 11, Gianmarco Plenzik. Plenzik's second year engineering from Foothills. We mentioned that. Mammy. No problem for Gagne. That one, a through ball that cannot find a connector. Brazina has the goal for Fraser Valley. Dinos will travel to Thompson Rivers on Friday and Trinity Western on Saturday after tomorrow's matchup against UBC. Yeah, 
after Mount Royal hosting on October 1st. And we, as we said, October 22nd and 23rd, their seven game schedule at home. A little bouncer. The Dino Ladies will play six at home and eight on the road this year. Ivan's got the ball. A lot of people want it from him. A nice little back and forth. Again, trying to find extra room. Hey, that curve might have gone in. That could have been a huge moment. That's why he went for it just a little bit wide. He's a rookie from New West. This is how he looks as a rookie. I think they've got a, themselves a heck of a player for the next three or four seasons. Approaching the 90. Two fifteen tomorrow for the UBC Thunderbird matchup as part of this four game homestand for the men's soccer team. And we'll be back next week for the women's soccer team, Friday night and Sunday afternoon. And Dino fans, we hope you will join us both on demand, both on Canada West TV or right here at Dino Park. Crossing through. Did, the, but did not go over the defender's forehead. So it's a goal kick, and Cowix wastes no time. Right in front of the other side. Three, thank you. Minimum three. Three. There will be a minimum of three minutes added to the end of the second half. Minimum three. A little back and forth. Richardson again forcing Ruskowski to move side to side. A lot of teams have been able to take advantage of that this year. He just didn't quite have the miles per hour on that kick. Yes, yes, again. Yes, Inside the minimum three. It's sunny, then it's windy. It's sunny, then it's windy. It weather just doesn't know what it wants to do today. Some people in shorts, some people in parkas. You just never know in this town. Again, shout out to all the fans in Abbotsford and region watching. We're glad you're safe. And that the fires are uh, as well contained as they have been, become. Can't wait to get out there one of these days. Fun city, Abbotsford. There's Fraser Valley, the 2023 CPL expansion team, team number nine in the CPL. Really looking forward to that next year. Should be an interesting offseason in this Canadian Premier League. Again, Ivan Yepes with all the energy you could hope for. It's a six hour drive to Saskatoon and they'll play the Huskies tomorrow afternoon. And then a big drive west. Fraser Valley will drop to one and four with the loss. Still in sixth place. 
Check that out of town scoreboard on CanadaWest.org and Canada West TV. Daniels improved to 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. They'll go to eight points. Grant McEwen 2-1-2 two, and two, with eight points after that result. And that's your ball game, folks. Dinos 3, Cascades 1. Thank you so much for being here today, for being loud and proud for your team. And we hope to see you here at 2.15 tomorrow when the UBC Thunderbirds in, are in town. Safe travels to the, to the Cascades as they play in Saskatoon.